In this video, I'm going to take you through a Tor browser update for 2020. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where related blog post is also available. I previously created a video for beginners on how to use the Tor browser, but what I thought I'd do is create an update and show you the latest version for 2020, as well as answer any other questions that you may have had. You don't have to be a criminal or a hacker or up to no good to want to stay anonymous online. Maybe you don't want companies tracking you and you want to regain your privacy. And there are a couple of secure or privacy focused browsers that you can use. You have the likes of Brave, which blocks ads and trackers by default. And then if you want to go a step further, you have the Tor browser. With Tor browser, you can stay anonymous by connecting to the Tor network. You're then directed through a network of servers so that your location and identity are protected. The Tor network is designed so that no server can know who you are or what you're doing. And when you're finished with your browsing session, the Tor browser will instantly delete your cookies, browsing history and other data. If you're interested in downloading Tor, you'll need to head across to their site, which is torproject.org. Now, for if any reason you can't actually get onto their site, it may well be that you need to connect via a VPN. It's also recommended that you use a VPN in conjunction with Tor. The VPN I personally use is ExpressVPN. As well as it being nice and easy to use, it's a trusted leader in VPNs with 9.4 on Trustpilot. They have a huge global network of fast VPN servers with 160 locations, 94 countries and unlimited speeds. Plus they have a 30 day money back guarantee with no questions asked and I'll pop a link to it in the summary below. And if you sign up, it will really help to support my channel. There are other free VPNs that you can get, but I really wouldn't recommend them if you're taking your security seriously. Using Tor over VPN increases your privacy. By connecting to a VPN and then connecting to Tor, which is also known as Tor or Onion over VPN, you get the privacy and protection of the Tor network. At the same time, you're protected from any Tor node seeing your IP address. So by connecting in this way, your internet service provider will not be able to identify you as a Tor user, as all the network can see is your encrypted traffic to your VPN server. Now on the Tor project site, you can see that you have a few different options to donate to Tor. Now the reason why that is, is because they are an open source software. But you can also donate using a Brave browser. So I'm in Brave at the moment, and if I click onto my little triangle icon, you can see that they are a Brave verified creator. So you can send tips in this way as well. And on their site, there's some information about what Tor is and what it does, such as blocking trackers, defend against surveillance, and resist fingerprinting by making all users look the same. Now, if you want to download Tor, what you want to do is click onto the Download Tor Browser button here. Now, there have been some fake Tor browsers created and distributed by cyber criminals, so you'll need to be careful whenever downloading anything from the web. And it's also worth verifying the software that you're actually downloading. Now I'm just going to download for the purposes of the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is download this onto my Mac. Then once you've verified, downloaded and installed, you can launch Tor. As I said earlier, as an extra level of security, it's recommended that you connect to a VPN or a proxy before connecting through to the Tor network. And as you can see, the search engine that Tor uses is DuckDuckGo, which is an anonymous search engine. If you want to double check that you are connected to the Tor network, you can type in checktorproject.org. And in here, it will show you whether or not you are connected to Tor, and it will also provide you with your IP address, which will be different to your usual IP address. Now, just taking you through some of the options at the top here. First of all, if we click onto the menu bar and have a look at new identity, 
a new identity will create you a new IP address. The reason why you might want to have this is if you want to stop your previous browser activity being linkable to subsequent browser sessions. And when you actually create a new identity, it will close all your current tabs, clear your cookies, as well as your browsing history. Now just taking a look at the little shield icon here, at the moment you can see what our current security level is, so that's currently at standard. However, if you want to increase your security, if you click on to advanced security settings, in here you can change from standard to safer to safest. So safest will do things like disable JavaScript, and then if you actually go onto a site where you want to play media, you can click to play that. What I'm going to do is just change that to safest. Now, if we just do a quick search for the hidden wiki, and if we click onto the hiddenwiki.org. Now, one thing to mention is the fact that you may find that your browsing is slightly slower than usual. And this is simply because you're connecting through a series of servers to protect your privacy. But obviously, this is just a small price to pay for your anonymity. Now, before we actually go ahead and take a look at this site, what I'm going to do is just show you the little eye icon beside the address bar. Now from here, what it does is it lists the steps that it's taken to reach this website. So this is what actually helps you to keep anonymous. So you can see that you've taken it on from my browser through to Germany, across to Switzerland, back to Germany, and then across to the hidden wiki. So this is what is known as a circuit for the site. Now just taking a look at the hiddenwiki.org. Now at the moment, the one that we're actually looking at isn't an encrypted web service as it isn't a .onion site. But from here, you can actually find one. So as you can see from here, there are a whole host of different .onion websites that I can have a look at in terms of the hidden wiki. Then once you're in here, you can see that there's a whole host of different types of .onion sites that you can actually take a look at. Now, one of the really important things when you are using the Tor browser is to ensure that you are using the latest version of the software. So what I'm going to do is show you how you go about doing that. So first of all, if you click on the three kind of horizontal lines in your top right hand corner, which is your menu bar. And then if we go down to preferences. And then scroll down. You'll see here that you have a section called Tor browser updates. Now in here, you can check for updates. And what it will do is go away and tell you whether or not your browser is up to date or not. You can also allow Tor Browser to automatically install updates, which is recommended. So this is great in terms of any kind of, you know, latest security breaches and things like that. You'll always have the most up-to-date version of the Tor Browser. If you want to use Tor on your mobile device, Tor is available for Android using their package name Orbot. Orbot is an app that allows mobile users to access the web, instant messaging and email without being monitored or blocked by your mobile internet service provider. Orbot essentially brings the features and functionalities of Tor to the Android mobile operating system. Then if you're using an iPhone or iOS operating system, there are loads of different types of apps available on the App Store and some of those will also combine some VPNs. However, the only app that Tor actually recommends is the Onion browser. Now I've previously created a tutorial and review of that and what I'll do is I'll pop that in the summary below for you to check out. Now for me personally, the Onion browser isn't the prettiest and it does lack some features as well. So as an alternative, I'd personally recommend using Brave for mobile, which will block ads and tracking by default. And of course you can also tip your favorite content providers. Unfortunately, Tor Project does not make an application for private chat. After 11 beta releases, they have discontinued support for Tor Messenger. It's also recommended that you don't use add-ons or what are also known as extensions in the Tor browser. The reason why this is, is it could compromise your privacy and security. And it could also make your Tor browser fingerprint unique, which you don't want, because what it means is that your browsing activity can be de-anonymized and tracked even though you're using a Tor browser. So that was my update for Tor in 2020. Tor is really great in preventing people from knowing the websites that you visit. However, please be aware that some entities, such as your internet service provider, may be able to see that you're connecting through to the Tor network, although they won't actually be able to see what you're doing when you do. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do also head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.